All right, guys, welcome back to the Trigger Press. Um, today we're going to be swapping the sights on my Wilson Combat, just the rear sight. Before we get started, let's go ahead and do a press check. And surprise, surprise, carrying the Wilson Combat that we're going to be working on today. So, first of all, let's make sure it's clear. Okay. And we are clear. So why are we swapping the sights on a Wilson Combat? Um, paid a lot of money for this gun. Really, really like it. The only thing is, and I've talked to another guy who uh, also tried to get his Wilson Combat EDC X9 built a certain way, and they said, said no, we can't do it like that. But the thing is this rear sight, right? So if we put spacer behind it here, you can see that rear notch, the uh, the U is rather large, right? So what that means is, if I can get the front side in here, you can see there is a lot of space side to side, right? Uh, for that front side to, to fall into, right? So the point is, is the, they do it because the combat handgun, right? You can get your nice shooting grip and you can find that front sight uh, with the fiber optic really easily right so you don't have to um, have a perfect grip or everything that's why they call it a combat sight um, but what that also means is if you're trying to make real you know tight groups it's going to be tough it's going to be real tough you're really going to have to focus and if you're shooting at long range or if you don't have the perfect grip or the perfect sight picture but you can still see your front sight sometimes you will miss so I'm uh, not a huge fan of it, so I'd like to change it out. So what we got is the Kinsight here, and I'll give you the model number and everything. It's a rear sight for the Novak low cut uh, full serrated blade. So I really did like the full serrated blade back here. I wanted to keep that. And the Novak low cut is just means it's, it's the Novak cut here, low being that the rear of the sight is lower than where the slide impacts up here, right? So uh, make sure when you order it, that's what you're getting. And in fact, Wilson Combat has on their website, if you would try to buy this site specifically by itself, then it tells you uh, all of the, the numbers. I forget, it's like uh, the 65 degree angle at point for something, I don't know. But it tells you what to get, just make sure you match it up with whatever replacement you buy. So, I'm gonna pull it out of the box here and uh, I'll show you what uh, what we got. So I liked the adjustable features and I wanted to keep the majority of every feature that was on the Wilson Combat already, except just change it over to a square. All right, if you can see that square notch there that should be uh, a lot tighter of a sight picture so still adjustable you got the up and down here nice square notch got the serrated edges and then adjustable on the side as well and then there's the uh the novak wedge so we get set up here and we'll figure out how to uh, replace the sight all right, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the rear sight. And what you have here, you'll notice these set screws is a, uh, it's a Torx bit. So find the appropriate one. And we're just going to remove those screws so the sight can move freely. Probably some Loctite on there. You need to get some leverage to get it off then go ahead and use that. It'd be easier without a super small Allen key, but I got what I got. All right, now they say you should just be able to push it off with just hand pressure.
Okay, so now that we've run through all that nonsense, the bottom line is the rear sight is incredibly difficult to get off. Uh, I'll roll in some footage here about how I went to uh, my local gun store and shooting range, which I actually work at part time, and uh, used their sight pusher tool, and even that didn't get it all the way off. Uh, I had to use a, a punch and a wooden block and smash it off the rest of the way. And keep in mind, this is after I've removed the torque screws. So I'll show you the, the bottom of the site. This is the original battle site. See all that stuff on it? I can only assume this is some kind of super adhesive because they do in the manual recommend uh, putting a little bit of Loctite on under the site if you need to, to keep it from moving. See where that's at. For a semi-permanent installation here on the bottom line, uh, use blue Loctite on your set screws. I think they use that on the main body of the site or, or something. Um, or maybe the screws leaked or I don't know, but I can feel it there and I can scratch it off. It's definitely some kind of uh, adhesive residue but yeah it made this site basically impossible to get off you can see the the wear marks there where I was freaking hammering on it on the side of the site but anyway uh, site new site is now installed the kin site and again we'll compare to the old one see the uh, giant U shape here okay and now compare that to the nice square, nice tight square. And I'll roll in some footage here of me at the range. I didn't take the, the camera, but I took my some photos with my cell phone. And uh, as you can see here, the the front sight post fits very well into the, uh, the rear sight notch, the new rear sight notch. And uh, it's very accurate. Um, this next photo here is when I was about 20 yards away and there was a, a poor target stick sitting up over there just begging to be shot at. So I took a shot at it and nailed it my first try and wood was flying, it was awesome. And then later on I was messing around and I was trying to shoot and move from seven yards and again at the stick I just took one shot, took a couple steps and took a shot while I was moving and hit it the first time. So uh, that convinced me that this new rear sight is is a definite money maker. Um, I'll also roll in some footage here of me shooting at the range with the GoPro of uh, shooting at my steel plate and some hitting and some not hitting. And that was my original frustration with the with the U-notch site was it was great. Ten yards and in, uh, you back that up anymore and try to go fast, and you might be missing by a little bit because of the loose, not loose tolerances, but the the amount of play in the rear sight um, and how the front sight fits into it. But new rear sight is great. Uh, I love it. It looks a lot like the factory rear sight, if you can see that there. So uh, serrated blade back, um, adjustable both ways, elevation and windage on the side. The only thing to keep in mind, some of you guys might not like this, but I had to adjust the elevation on mine a decent amount to, to start getting really, really tight groups, which I knew the gun could do. I just wasn't able to perform to that level without really focusing with the U-notch sight. So with this sight, I can make really, really tight groups. But to dial that in, as you can see here, uh, there is a little bit of a gap. So that might bother some people. 
Uh, maybe you get some pocket lint stuck under there or something. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I hardly even notice it when, when I'm holding the gun and in my holster and shooting it. Um, can barely even tell. Uh, maybe that's because it's black sight on a black slide, but um, just so you know, if you get this sight and you have to adjust the elevation up, there will be a gap like that. But for me, and being able to shoot this pistol as accurately as it, I know it can do, and um, having the confidence of being able to make those longer shots uh, with that tighter, uh, let's see if we can turn this on, with that tighter front sight post, um, that's worth it to me. That's worth any kind of minor concession in aesthetics. So, just so you guys know, this is my upgrade to my Wilson Combat 1911. It's about the only one I'm going to do. Um, everything else I absolutely love about the gun. Uh, you can see I'm getting a little holster wear there, but that's because I do not baby this thing. I carry it with me everywhere I go. I've put thousands of rounds through it already. Or, take that back, about a thousand rounds, maybe a little over already. And uh, it's been running strong. No issues. And also, I love the green front fiber. Uh, really picks up a lot better than red in the daytime, in my opinion. Um, but, all right. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. One, two, three, four, five.